Want to learn how to do any times table in one minute or less? Then click on the link below and master any times table you want. Now on to the video. Today we'll be looking at how to find the length of the hypotenuse of a right angled triangle in just a few seconds. So let's get to it. Have you ever seen questions like this where you're given a diagram of a triangle, a right angled triangle, you're given the base length and you're given the height and you're asked to find the length of the longest side or the hypotenuse. How would you go about doing that? Say you were given this in an exam and you completely forgot how you were supposed to find the hypotenuse. Usually, or most commonly, you would use Pythagoras' theorem, or in other words, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where a and b are the lengths of the two smaller sides and c is the length of the hypotenuse. But say you were short for time and that didn't come to mind, but you really wanted to answer this question. Well, here's a neat little trick that you can do, which should actually get you the answer in literally a few seconds. All you need is a scientific calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you an example of how to get the hypotenuse. The first time we go through this, obviously it won't take a few seconds, it'll take slightly longer because I'm explaining it. But once you get used to it, you will get quicker and the whole process will get a lot quicker. So let's take a look. So say you were given this question. So you have the base length, which is three units or three centimeters or whatever the unit is. And you have the height of the triangle, which is four. And you want to find the length of the hypotenuse. What you need to do is get your calculator, you press shift and the plus button, the add key, press that and you'll see POL or pole followed by an open bracket appear on the screen. That pole stands for polar coordinates which means that the answer you will get will be a set of polar coordinates which consists of a length and an angle. But what we need to do now is we enter the lengths of the sides of the triangle in here separated by a comma. So let's type in the base length first which is 3 and to get the comma we press shift and the close bracket key and that gives us the comma and then we input the length of the height of the triangle which is 4 and as you can see we're given an answer of 5 followed by a symbol and 53.1301 and so on. Now that 5 represents the length of the hypotenuse and the other numbers 53.13 that represents the angle with which the hypotenuse makes with the horizontal over here. So you're given two pieces of information. This is your polar coordinate set. You don't really need to know what polar coordinates are for now. All you need to know is that you've got the hypotenuse and you've got the angle which is an extra piece of information that may come in handy in a subsequent part of the question. Now you need to be careful here about the order in which you input the numbers. So first we put in 3 and then 4. 3 was the base length and 4 was the height. What would happen if we switched the numbers around so we had 4 and 3? Let's try that. So I'm just going to delete that and I'm put 4 first, separate by the comma, shift, close bracket and then put 3 as the height. We still get the hypotenuse as 5 but notice that the angle has changed now. That's because the height of the triangle has gone slightly lower so the angle will be smaller. So you need to be careful of the order in which you input the numbers. So always put the base length in first then put in the height. So let's take a look at another example. So let's consider this triangle here where we've got 7 as the base and 10 as the height. So we want to find the hypotenuse so we press shift plus which gives us pole 7 comma 10 and we got 12.20655 and so on as the hypotenuse and the angle with which that makes with the horizontal is 55 degrees. And let's take a look at one more example. Let's do it slightly quicker this time. So we've got this triangle where we've got 9 as the base and 13 as the height. So we press shift, add 9, comma, 13 and we have 15.811 as the hypotenuse and that's at an angle of 55.30484 and so on degrees. Okay, so you have a go as well. Have a go to see if you can follow along with this. Now, here's a little bonus tip that you can do. Say you're given a question where this time you're only given by hypotenuse and the angle and you want to find the length of the other two sides. You follow a similar process but instead of pressing the plus button you press the minus button instead. 
So say the length of the hypotenuse was 13 and the angle was 23 and we wanted to find the lengths of the base and the height. So we do shift minus this time and you can see REC with an open bracket rec. That rec stands for rectangular coordinates so the answer will be given as a set of rectangular coordinates meaning we'll get an X coordinate which represents our base of the triangle and a Y coordinate which represents the height of the triangle. So we put in 13 comma shift and close bracket followed by the angle and as you can see we have the base and as 11.966 which is roughly 11.97 units and the height is 5.079 units okay let's try another example say you're given a triangle whose hypotenuse is 7 and the angle is 60 so you have shift minus 7 comma 60 and there you go there you have the length of the other two sides of the triangle so your base length is 3.5 and your height is 6.06 have a go yourself and see how well this works for you. This is a neat little trick that you can do in literally a few seconds, three seconds probably tops, and you can get the answer in no time. You can also use this method to corroborate your answer you got, even if you remembered Pythagoras' theorem. So it's a good way of checking that you've got the right answer. If you found this tutorial helpful, then do leave a like, comment, share with anyone who you feel this may benefit, and do subscribe and click the bell for all the latest tips, tricks, revision and exam techniques, as well as the latest releases that will be coming soon. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.